In this video, we're going to be building a stylish audio splitter box that will not only allow you to precisely control the volume in a tactile way with a knob, but will also allow you to turn stereo sounds into mono with a button, which is especially helpful when editing audio. Here's a list of materials you will need for this build. All purchasing links are in the description. I started this project by attaching a drilling guide I made in Photoshop on the top side of the project box using some double-sided adhesive. I then begin drilling the four holes on the project box. The top two holes will need to fit the button and the bottom two holes will need to fit the potentiometer. I then begin widening the bottom two holes to the diameter of the potentiometer using wire cutters to trim off any unwanted plastic. I use the largest drill bit for the top two holes and then use the sander to wind the two holes until the button fits. Then, I begin stripping off the five short extension wires and tinning them with solder. I also tint all the pins on the potentiometer to make the solder stick to it easier. Here's a simple diagram showing what each pin will represent on the potentiometer. This is very important later on in the build. After soldering four wires to the potentiometer, the fifth wire will need to be bridged from the top side of the potentiometer to the back side. You can achieve this by soldering a long strip of wire to the back side and then bending it to solder it on the front side. Be sure to do the same for both potentiometers. Then I feed a 3.5mm audio cable through another hole that was drilled at the back of the box and added zip ties for strain relief. Then use wire strippers to strip off the rubber insulation. Twist the copper ground shield as shown here and solder two short wires to both the left and right channel of the cable, using electrical tape to protect the connections. Then, trim off the extruding metal on the sides of the potentiometer and feed it into the two holes we drilled on the top of the box. Remember to tighten the washer and the nuts using pliers. Then solder the left and right channel to the two input pins for the potentiometer for stereo audio. Do this for both potentiometers. Then solder the ground of both potentiometers to the ground shield of the input 3.5mm audio cable. Now it's time to solder the button. After feeding it through the two holes we drilled earlier and tightening with the nuts, feed two of the female 3.5mm audio jack to the two new drilled holes on the front of the box. Solder the left and right channel to the C and NO pins of the button. Do that for the other button as well, using the extension wires to solder all the ground together including the inputs ground. Now solder the potentiometer output pins to the NO and C pin of the button corresponding with the left and right channels. Now 
plug it in into a 3.5 millimeter audio jack and using headphones. Listen to this portion of the video to test the volume knobs and the channels. Left channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, right channel. Now press the button and listen to the same audio track one more time. Left channel, left channel, left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel, right channel, right channel. If the button works and the channels are correct, then it's time to solder a 5 volt USB power to the button's LED, as shown here. Be sure both buttons are connected in parallel. You can now close the project box, plug in the 5 volt USB cable, and enjoy your newly built stylish audio splitter. And that's it for this week's DIY build. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.